EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt is an old foe of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. And in his time at the EPA, he's doing more and more to promote his personal religion and put it into public policy that affects the environment and people's health. So Pruitt has been in the news recently for two different reasons. One, some tapes recently surfaced of him denying evolution, which is unsurprising to us uh, given our past history with him. And also him again saying that he is using the Bible to craft public policy. Um, this is the second or third time that we've heard him say something like that since he was appointed to the post of EPA administrator. He essentially said that because God gave man dominion over the environment, that we can do with it whatever we want. We can harvest the resources regardless of how it might impact that environment. The environmental left tells us that though, we've, though we have natural resources like natural gas and oil and coal, and though we can feed the world, we should do what? Keep those things in the ground, put up fences, and be about prohibition. That's wrong-headed. He's using the Bible to create environmental policy instead of science and data. Essentially, the EPA has become a theocracy. The, the Bible becomes the guidebook for crafting legislation and policy, and that is not the way that we want an arm of the federal government to run or a branch of the federal government, and certainly not one that can impact people's health in very real ways. Pruitt cited the book of Joshua to help destroy some of the more professional and scientific advisory committees within the EPA. The book of Joshua features genocide after genocide uh, that God commands, or in some, case, some cases himself commits the genocide, so it's not exactly a book for good government, but Pruitt's using it that way anyway. I have a long history with Scott Pruitt in Oklahoma. Back when he was the Attorney General, Scott Pruitt defended the distribution of Bibles in public schools, though every single court that has looked at that has said that is not allowed. Uh, and he actually wrote to schools saying that he would take case to court if need be against FFRF. He also helped defend a Bible class that we got shut down uh, that the Hobby Lobby Corporation was funding. FFRF has been opposed to Pruitt for many years and we are going to continue that opposition. We are not going to let him turn any branch of the government, be it Oklahoma or the federal government, into a theocracy. So we will be here fighting against him and any of the other theocrats in the Trump administration. <laughs>